So now we're finna get ready to cook egg number two. So thus far we got one egg over light, um, avocado sliced. Um, I didn't realize this avocado was about to go bad and I did feel like um, making any guacamole today. So we're going to use half of this avocado for this morning's breakfast and the other half for maybe a snack later on. So we got egg number two on and I, will, I always cook mine on like five or six on one side then I flip it and cook it on a little bit higher because I don't like my eggs cooked. I'll stomach a scrambled egg but I don't prefer a scrambled egg. Uh, I really enjoy sunny side up or over light. So while we're waiting on the egg to finish, we're going to go ahead and dice up these um, mushrooms, slice up a few onions, and I have some jarred tomatoes that I'm going to actually use, and we're going to also have spinach. So now we have our spinach um, sauteing just a little bit. Uh, we're going to get ready to add mushrooms to this in a second. Just a good power breakfast. Um, since I was already up, I have to get my um, significant other off to work. So I choose to cook him breakfast every morning um, because a productive day starts with good fuel for the, bo for the body. So now we have the mushrooms added. Um, I added some garlic powder which I love. I absolutely love garlic. Um, we're going to let this saute for a few more seconds. Um, while this is kind of um, coming together, I'm going to dice up a few onions. Now that we have this complete, we're going to go ahead and transfer this over to the eggs. And then we're going to heat up a few tomatoes. Um, I, sometimes I will cook them together, but preferably I decide not to. Um, just so the flavors don't all just mesh together and you can actually taste and feel the different textures. So these are some diced tomatoes that I opened. Um, and I always, I love tomatoes. They're very good for you. And I actually can these myself. Not these, but I also, I do can them. <laughs> but they're very good for you. Um, so if you have some diced tomatoes that you're using in a recipe and can't use them all or it doesn't require it, just always put them in a mason jar. You can always come back for them later. Um, they should hold in the refrigerator anywhere from 7 to 10 days. So I added some crushed red peppers. Um, gotta have a little heat. Gotta have a little heat. And that's why I did not want to cook them um, together with the uh, mushroom, onions, and um, spinach. Because I wanted everything to have its own unique flavor. And it's just it's like a party in your mouth <laughs> when you have different textures and flavors. So the last thing that we're going to add to our breakfast little dish is some turkey sausages. Gotta have that. So my family and I, we don't eat pork. But there are always alternatives out there for you if you don't eat pork. These are some um, turkey sausages that I made. They came in the roll. And so you can decide to decide on the size that you may like. So this is a breakfast. Um, my little power breakfast to get my day started um, after this. Um, I should be ready for the remainder of the morning. So I hope you choose to eat healthy. Care for your body. Um, because that's the vessel that gets us around every day. And so we have to take care of it. So I hope everyone has a great morning.